What are these gems? And while mining, I found a bunch more. Listen, don't overlook the jewelry mod as you build up your character in Prominence 2 RPG. Hi guys, Jengro, the accidental archer here, and we're going to get blinged up with jewelry to boost our archer talents and more. In fact, we're going to get a bunch of archer gear in this episode in preparation for the next boss fight. Remember that mine shaft in the intro? Flex our new archer skills in there, plus a few other bonuses. Let's go. Let's take a look at the jewelry mod. If we search in REI for jewelry, we get all the jewelry items, which there just aren't that many. There's six gems, two, three, four, five, six, three rings, which give a few of them give you armor and eight each of necklaces and rings. There's a necklace for each gem and a ring for each gem, plus emerald and diamond. They each give you a different buff. Emerald is luck, diamond is speed, ruby is attack, topaz is a couple spells, citrine is healing in a spell, jade is projectile damage, Sapphire is health, Tanzanite is frost and soul spell. And likewise for necklaces, you get the same thing. There's also netherite versions of those, which double the boost. So obviously we're going to need to go for netherite versions of these things. Also, there's a dozen or so special rings, which give some pretty massive boosts. You can only find these in loot chests, the way I understand it. And I think you have to go pretty deep into the game, even end chests to get some of these more powerful ones. So that's... That's all the stuff. We have trinket slots, one ring and one necklace oh, right here. I have a cross necklace on right now, but we only have one of each slot. So we're going to have to choose a ring and a necklace. Depending on what we're doing, we're probably going to want to change these things out. I'm going to go for luck and projectile damage because I'm an archer. And luck is good for things like reforging with the anvil. So as you saw in the intro, we got a couple of these gem veins and i have fortune four on this pickaxe let's just see what happens five rubies and one citrine fortunately we have every gem thanks to some mining operations we have a couple jade for making projectile damage boosts before i make these though maybe we'll go get some netherite but what we can also do is make a jeweler's kit is easy to make and we can get ourselves a villager there is a jeweler villager in some villages i haven't found one yet but we've got a villager here let's see if we can turn this guy into a jeweler what do they even so they buy copper and emeralds let's grab some of those level this guy up thanks to our paper and our librarians in the last episode we have all kinds of emeralds now and this guy buys copper so that's also easy emeralds. Okay, so we have a copper ring, which gives us plus one armor. The upgrades. Wow, these are pretty expensive. Why is a gold ring so expensive? I don't even know what it does. These don't stack. Level you up again. All right, we're getting a diamond necklace. This guy buys diamonds. Go dump some of this stuff off and upgrade them some more. We're going to see what a fully leveled up jeweler does. Although the stuff isn't cheap. I'm not sure we're going to be able to get there. Just doing these one at a time so we don't overload it. Spend too much. Okay, you're going to upgrade again. Citrine ring. Sapphire ring. Max health, nice. Grab one of these. So we put this thing on. It's got health. Our health jumped up a little there. And let's put on the diamond necklace. This will definitely help with us running back and forth to this. Okay, we don't need all these things, but we can sell a bunch of copper. Let's make another jeweler because selling copper for emeralds is a pretty good deal. I had that blocked off because these guys were more interested in getting out than breeding. So let's grab a guy. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. That didn't work out very well. Come here, Cornelius. Get back in there. And you. Let's try that again. There we go. Oh, get out again. How did you even get out? I 
I don't think that guy will go too far. Let's make another spot for him. All right, you get in there. There we go. It's, wow, string as well. All right, let's go get some copper. While I was waiting for that copper to cook, I got a little distracted and I made a jeweler's, a jeweler's building. Let's put a sign on it. Very creative. We'll need a name for the jeweler's building, but simple building. Need to dress up the outside a little bit better. But yeah, we've got both of these guys. I've leveled up Jenny a little bit. Jeffrey, not Jenny. All kinds of copper going here. Finish upgrading these guys. Jeffrey sells emerald necklace, which is good. So we'll continue to level up Jeffrey and Rolf. Jeffrey and Rolf the jewelers. And as we go, we'll add some more jewelers to this. Get a total of eight in there. That should definitely get us going. I thought the jewelry place would be pretty good to have next to the forge where we're making all the gold and copper that they buy. Now, since we're an archer, we want to make, we want to make topaz, no jade, ring and jade necklace, but I only have a couple of jade. I only have three. So I don't want to spend these things on just regular necklaces. I want to make netherite ones and just to make sure that we need a netherite ingot for with a netherite jade necklace and one netherite ingot. So let's head, I've got gold trim on my armor, so we're good there. Let's head into the nether and tear it up a bit, see if we can find some netherite. Some ancient debris. Okay, there's one. Any more around here? Another one. Oh, give me more than one. All right, we're back from the nether. I accidentally used up my entire vein mining pickaxe. That was a mistake, but we've got four ancient debris. Rather than just cooking these, let's take a look at if we can double this, get anything better than just the one netherite scrap. So with a grinder and tech reborn, we can get, we can double it. An industrial grinder with mercury, we can triple it. An industrial grinder is late game tech reborn. Macerator from modern industrialization, double. Industrial revolution pulverizing, we get two scrap dust. Oh, this is good news. And a scrap dust, Smelted gives us netherite scrap. Excellent. There's our answer. We can make molten netherite. What does that do? Gives us ancient debris chunk, which then goes back to netherite scrap dust. So that doesn't seem useful. Purified ancient debris. Wood infusing with sulfuric acid. Purified ancient debris turns into 12 millibuckets. That's not, that's not very much. Okay. Well, in the short term, the best we can do, I think, is we can at least double it. Let's put it in the pulverizer. And now if we put this in the furnace. There we go.
Hey, there's eight netherite scrap. And two netherite ingots. Perfect. So now let's make this make this jewelry. We want a netherite jade ring, which is gonna give us plus 16% projectile damage. And a netherite jade necklace, which is also going to give us plus 16% damage. Oh, I'm gonna miss that speed, that's for sure. Let's see what kind of damage we do with our crossbow now on this guy. 39. Pretty good damage. We're gonna be one-shotting lots of things with this crossbow now. Now, since we're an archer, let's look at this armor here. We got these archer tunics, which gives us plus five percent more projectile damage each. We also have these ranger boots, which we need scoot to make those. Holy cow! There's another set of archer armor, I believe from. MC Dungeons Armors, yeah. These give us Archer's Prowess. I don't know if that's better than 5% range damage, but we need Blaze Powder and we need these upgrade cores. Bolts of Fabric. I mean, these are all makeable. All different colors. Let's go with these. These seem a bit better. Uncommon, Epic, okay, good. Get our... Lich blade, head over to the cows, get some more leather. Magnet. 38 leather. Here we go. So we've got the tunic, hood, boots, and leggings. Okay, let's get these things up to legendary if we can. This is where we need the luck. Emerald necklace, and I have a sword with luck. Put that sword in our offhand, and we put on the emerald necklace. It should help us. It needs leather. Let's get to at least epic on these. Legendary, yes. All right, that didn't work out so well. Can we make leather? Untanned leather, infusing. All right, so we can see. This is where Industrial Revolution, these tech mods help out. So we've got lots of rotten flesh. This is gonna give us 64 more leather. Solid infuser. One, two. Speed upgrade. So now we just need to smelt these untanned leather, turns them into leather. One each. While that's cooking, let's check and see if these things are enchantable. They are, but we don't have the levels right now. We'll enchant those at some point. All right, let's see if we can get these things up to legendary. Let's start with the tunic, which is only uncommon. There it is, nice. Out of amethyst. The good news, I think with all these blocks of amethyst, we can use a stone cutter. Ah, cutting board. We know this drill. And it's nice to listen to. go legendary on the hood and legendary on the boots all right Took a little more than a stack to get all of those up to legendary oh the armor's not great but we're an archer that's how it's supposed to be right 
Okay, now that we've got all this archer stuff on, let's see what this does for damage. 45. So the first shot seems to do more and then some pretty good DPS. Now let's make some more of these stuffed potatoes, and then head back to that mine shaft that we saw at the beginning of the episode. Some good food production is definitely on our short list of automation. Right, let's head to the mine shaft. It's not that far away, especially with all this legendary armor, with speed boosts, and the diamond necklace. Family of Drakes. Oh, and these leather boots, I bet, keep me from sinking in snow, too. Took care of these guys earlier, and here it is right here. Okay, let's our archery necklace on. Let's get light in our hand. Load our crossbow. <laughs> Someone has been here before. So we should put this on when we're opening chests. Put this in our offhand, get some luck. I'm not sure how luck affects this, but let's give it a go. So far, not exciting. Just keep luck on because I'm pretty sure we're gonna be able to one-shot everything with this crossbow, as is. There we go. I mean, this gold ring, nothing too exciting. Night vision goggles. That's worth it right there. Amazing. Epic golden mace, mm. take that. Golden apple, nice. Trick bow, never miss its target. Oh, all right. We're gonna level that thing up and see what we get for damage. Growing staff, that seems pretty cool. Mana steel is expensive. Yeah, see, we're getting lots of jewelry in these chests, but they're low level. So I think we're going to need to go into the nether and then the end to get the higher level enchants. I see these axolotl rings all the time. Hey, diamonds. Fortune four. Light is useful. what to do with rascals they're from the, the mob vote which didn't they didn't win all right i think that's it
All right, that's it. I think that's all of the hallways in this mine shaft. I think this is a Young's Better mine shaft. Let's head back home. Now, let's see how quickly we can kill this guy. This is a good test for our our archery skills. One shot. I just one shot that orc. That's pretty unbelievable. Okay, I want to go back and upgrade this trick bow. We'll see you back at the base. Maybe we'll swim home with this axolotl rubber ring. Let's see how much faster we can go with this. Yeah, we're swimming pretty fast. I'm like running on water. What is this? Oh. So taming these guys, you just right click and mount them. And eventually, eventually they let you stay on. There we go. We did it. I think I need a, a saddle, which I don't have. I have a lead. Let's take them home. This crossbow is crazy. Right, I'm gonna grab a saddle. There we go. Should have done this earlier. It's time to the well. All right, we're gonna need a name for him too. Let me know in the comments. Before we wrap up, I upgraded these guys to masters just to see where they got to with the trades, rings and necklaces. I was hoping, I was hoping for some netherite ones, but it doesn't seem that that's going to be the case. All right, guys, I think that's going to do it. We look pretty ridiculous in our night vision goggles and our axolotl bubble. Hope you liked that look at the jewelry mod from the RPG series and a few extra things. And we leveled up our archer gear. All right, if you like the video, please like the video. Subscribe to the channel to keep up with the series. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think. We need a name for that guy. We also need a name for the gecko toa down in, inside the base. Got some good ideas already. Love to hear some more. All right, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you.